Welcome back viewers. This is Chungu Chajami. Today we are talking about spiritual brainwash. Have you gone through the same? Have you seen your family, friends or relatives going through the same? Send in your comments, your question across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 21144. On the show, I have guests who are helping us to understand deeply about this issue. So before, before we went on a break, Pastor David, you are telling us that we should tame the desires of our heart so that uh, we are not held captive simply because we are desiring something yeah. that is not right. So on that, maybe, uh, why are, where are we going wrong to an extent that uh, we are afraid of thinking? Are we lacking time? to read the word of God in depth so that we may be able to understand it by our own self. Because the Bible says that when Jesus was going back to heaven, he said, he will leave us with the Holy Spirit who is going to help us to understand all things. Is it time that we are lacking? What is it that we are lacking or where are we going wrong with all this, for this to come? Mm -hmm. We'll start with you. Uh, I thank God because of my pastor here. Mm -hmm. This is about the material things. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, mm -hmm. many Christians, they go to church because they need something. Mm -hmm. And you tell us about the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit, we mm -hmm. call him in Swahili, Roham Dakatifu. Mm -hmm. and the other, and, 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 now these days, many people, they are filled with Roham Dakatifu, but others, they are filled with Rom Takakitu. You see? There is a difference now. Rom yeah. Takatifu mm -hmm. na Rom Takakitu. Mm -hmm. We must remember uh, why I'm, I'm a become again, I'm a born again mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Remove the word bishop and pastor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, to me, to, have to be a, a bishop, eh, it is a process. Mm -hmm. It took more than 25 years mm -hmm. in a ministry mm -hmm. that I may become a mm -hmm. bishop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and also to be a bishop, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a bishop. Before I, I become a pastor, mm -hmm. I become a, a born again person. Mm -hmm. That when I hear the preacher preaching, mm -hmm. and when I hear that message, is to connect me with God mm -hmm. because of eternity. Mm -hmm. It's not because that I will buy V eight, or I see any miracle in the church, but it's because. Of eternity. Many mm -hmm. people we have today, mm -hmm. they are going to church to shake the miracles. Mm -hmm. They are not there because of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Me, when I become again, become mm -hmm. born again, mm -hmm. in those days, when I received Jesus as my, as my Savior, mm -hmm. I become born again because I love God, I love Jesus, and I want eternity. That is all. About material things, was not in my mind. What was in my mind is one day God will give me the eternity because there is hell and there is eternity. So my desire is eternity. Many people, they are not focusing in the eternity. And when they go to where there is no miracle, those churches, they feel that they are not supposed to worship in that church. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. Yapran or the Niazao is to have a miracle. So they want a miracle. Mm -hmm. mm? And that is why many people, they don't want to hear the word of God. Mm -hmm. They want to hear about miracles. Mm -hmm. They want to hear where they are good music. Now, Pastor has said about yeah. miracles. And it's so true that when you look mm -hmm. around our society, mm -hmm. a lot of people are bring lured to all this simply because you're looking for miracles. Mm -hmm. Maybe as a Bible scholar, yeah. what is the harmful in effect in all this? Uh, to begin with Eunice, uh, you know we are in a battlefield. Sure. And miracles happen. Mm -hmm. And I believe in miracles. Mm -hmm. And uh, we witness miracles every day in our lives. Mm -hmm. Because even being born again is a miracle. It is a miracle. It's not easy. Mm. But the enemy has taken the uh, advantage of miracles. That is what I was saying earlier. And has fed people with the material minds. 
subtle minds so that any time they hear about God, they just think about somebody who can bless me. Most people, when they hear you mention God, even when you are going to church, maybe where you live, on Sunday when you are going to church, you will hear people who don't go to church telling you, remember us in prayer? Because any time they, 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 they hear God or religion, they just think it's somebody who can protect them, somebody who can provide for them. But God is more than that. God is God. And he needs us to have a personal relationship with him. So the devil is taking advantage of miracles to create a scenario whereby people will think, begin to think that God does not perform miracles and that every good thing comes from the devil. But that is contrary to the teaching of the apostles. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says, every good and perfect gift comes from above. And that is from God. Mm -hmm. So it is a battle of souls. It is a battle of uh, supremacy. The devil wants to show the world that what is happening is, is the only person who can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So grateful for that. And maybe to touch on this, um, when we hear people who have been brainwashed, mm -hmm. those who are coming out talking about it, mm -hmm. you'll realize that they have a lot of wounds, a lot of pains, because they went with the heart of mm -hmm. receiving Christ mm -hmm. and having a prosperous, mm -hmm. uh, fruitful spiritual life. Mm -hmm. But here they come, shattered, wasted, and some are always falling into depression and mental health. Yeah. Why? Why and how are we going to help them? Maybe we can start with you. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of people going through hell because of the name of religions. Those are cards. Some of, them, some of them we have it because already they come to our churches and we, we nurse them, mm -hmm. the way they are supposed to forget what mm -hmm. happened. But others, we are not rich them. They are somewhere like the Kerifi, is it Kerifi? You call yeah, it Kerifi Kerifi Kerifi. 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 In the Kerifi, you see those people, they, are, they believe in that and you cannot change them. No matter the pastor is in prison, hmm? uh, they need a person who will go near to them to show the first thing, love, mm. love, because we need to show them love mm -hmm. and also the way to tell God to give us wisdom mm -hmm. to talk with them mm -hmm. that we may help them mm -hmm. and we show them there is God. Mm -hmm. The one I'm talking about it is those maybe they have a, a property mm -hmm. and they sold their property and give that uh, uh, altars of cut. And now they don't have anything. Mm. Some of them, they become old. They cannot go to work again. They cannot go to business again. I see even the others, they are very sick, but they give whatever they have in the altar mm. of those demons and the devils. They don't have even money to buy their medicines. We are supposed to come out also to help them and to give mm. them, to show them the way. Mm and the love. We cannot show them the way with an empty heart because some of them are sick. They need medication. We need to support them with our money mm. that it may they go to hospital and also to go to the light uh, counselor, counseling because mm. you know there is a lot of past that says me I have a can I am a, I can counsel you but if the person is not uh, educated in enough Mm. He is supposed to connect that person to the right channel. That we may help them and we show them there is God mm. and there is life and we must continue with this life. Mm. That's only the way we can help them. We show them where they are. I know maybe some of them, they are listening us. We love them and we can talk with them. We can want to hear from them their experience that we may help them. Because mm. first, you must listen some story. You listen, you listen, then that you may heal that person. Mm -hmm. That's only we are supposed to show more where they are and mm -hmm. we help them. Amen. And we are praying for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We love yeah. them, mm -hmm. we are praying for them, mm -hmm. and we are telling them there is God. 
mm. there is right pastors. Mm. Okay. No matter the pastor that those pastors they used to to destroy their life. Mm -hmm. Maybe they believe they are no pastor. I meet one or two mem people. Mm -hmm. They told me that me I cannot go in the church. Mm. Eh, nowhere I can go because those pastors are fake. Eh? True. We're having that remarks like pastor has mentioned yeah. a lot in our society that churches are fake. Churches has come. Mm. The church has become a business. This is so heartening when we are supposed to find refuge in church. Mm. Like pastor has mentioned about showing love and also caring for them. Now, I think on the same on that question of mental health and the depression, mm. with the people that you've interacted with, what do you have to say to our viewers, to them, in regards on the same, also adding on love and also in terms of counseling? Do you, because I understand even for the counselors, you have to be lovable. You have to mm. listen with an ear of not judging this person, mm. but rather an ear to help this person. What is your take on that? Number one, I want to urge our viewers, whatever mm -hmm. you are watching, have a personal pastor. Mm -hmm. If you are going to overcome this catastrophe and cataclysm of cultism, you must have a personal pastor, somebody who shepherds you, mm -hmm. somebody who is accountable before you, mm -hmm. before your family, mm -hmm. even before God. Mm -hmm. Have somebody that mm -hmm. your family can call mm -hmm. and they pick the phone. Have somebody that every member of your family knows this is the pastor to our brother, the pastor to my father. And then let that person also be accountable. Understand the, 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 the system that is functioning under who is his authority. As much as I don't have a, I may not be in a capacity to say a lot about fatherhood because I'm not yet a father uh, in terms of spiritual things, but our fathers who have the responsibility to do it, they have to make sure the people they are bringing up, what kind of people are they bringing up? And then our viewers, number two, what, uh, to add on what people, but by Bishop said, one of the things that exists in Christianity that doesn't exist anywhere else is love. And that is what keeps Jesus on top of other gods. Because for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. The only place you can find love is in Jesus. So you might have been offended by a pastor, mm -hmm. you might have been misused, partly because you gave away your spirit mm -hmm. so that they control you, but the only place you can find love is in Jesus. Don't run away from Jesus. Don't run away from Jesus because somebody hurt you, because somebody offended you. <clears throat> Amen. Oh, thank you on that. Now, um, we said the only place we find love yeah. is in Jesus. Yes. And uh, all these things, for those who are sick, mm. for those that their families are crying, what can we tell them? What message do you have for them? A message of hope. Mm -hmm. Like you've mentioned that you still, we still love them. Mm -hmm. There's still hope, which is so true. Mm -hmm. How now do we pull them out of that? What is the right heart that you are looking for? And what is the right heart that this person or this family member should have for them to be able to find proper help? Maybe starting with you, Pastor David. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Mm -hmm. So as much as you are at and as much as you went through hell, you must make sure you are listening to the right voices. And that voice that is going to make, you know, we, we, we go to God through faith. Mm -hmm. And that faith comes through hearing. Mm -hmm. So those who have undergone such circumstances, mm -hmm. I want to plead with you, please find a man mm -hmm. or find a person that you can be listening to. Mm -hmm. Apart from reading the word of God, and I want to thank God because of the media and uh, the technology. He has provided all the materials we need for our faith to grow. So you can make sure you are listening to faith messages or messages. And uh, even as you listen, you will find other people who went through the same situation you went through. 
and they overcame. Mm -hmm. So you can also learn from them mm -hmm. and overcome. But don't sit where you are. Refuse to sit where you are. Rise up and walk. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What is your take on the same, Bishop? Um, the way pastor says that mm -hmm. they are supposed to wake up because mm -hmm. we love them. Mm -hmm. And we trust them where they are that we may help them. That is why we are here. Mm. We are crying with them. Because uh, the first thing uh, the true pastor they are supposed to do mm. is to teach people how to believe their prayers. When you pray, you believe on your prayers. Mm. Eh? You believe because uh, many they run to those cuts. When you come to me, if I'm, I'm cut, I tell you if you want that, Maybe you are HIV mm. uh, positive and you want to be healed. Mm -hmm. I confuse you, mm -hmm. give me 50 million, 20, 20 millions or 2 millions and you will get healed. Mm? You know, you will give me that too or the, whatever I told you. Mm -hmm. And when you give me, you go to, uh, to feast the visit and then you still in that disease, you will hate me and you will hate the word pastors. Mm. You see? Because they, uh, they deceive you. But my prayer to them, we love them. We, there is a lot of the truth pastors. Mm -hmm. We are one of them. And that's why we are here. Mm -hmm. To show the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because that place, <clears throat> when they run to the, that place, mm -hmm. they show them the love, which is not the true love. Mm -hmm. And that is why they are crying now. They, mm -hmm. are, they have a lot of holes. Mm -hmm. But we are here to heal them. We mm -hmm. are not giving them money, mm -hmm. but we will give them what we have. Amen. And what we have is the peace of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the word of God. Mm -hmm. And we are chasing them. We want to build them again. Mm -hmm. And they must have faith in God, mm -hmm. faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. Like what the pastor says that mm -hmm. the, the faith comes by hearing mm -hmm. and hearing the word of God. Mm -hmm. They will hear only the word. Mm -hmm. When you, they hear only the word, word of God, and that word of God will heal them. Mm. We are not supposed to add some salt. Mm. Eh? You see, I see many people, they are selling is very sweet, telling you that if you buy this sweet, mm. and one is 20, 10, 10 million, mm. your life will be very sweet. Mm. Eh? Your life will be very sweet. The others, they are buying evil things, mm. eh? water, mm. eh? water. Eh? You are selling water. And when mm. those people, <coughs> you confuse them. When you buy this water, and you drink it, you never dust again. Mm -hmm. It is only the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. When you receive it, you will never dust, uh, dust again. So mm -hmm. we love them, and we are, we are telling them that we are praying for them, mm -hmm. and they will start again. So Let true. me tell them that they must have faith in God again. Amen. Mm -hmm. They start again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you they so can much. stay at home, mm -hmm. but they cannot see any change. Mm -hmm. They are supposed to come to us. Yes. Eh? Like the way pastor says that mm. he must walk. Mm. You know, maybe somebody because uh, was deceived and he feel mm. that now he cannot go to any pastors. We are here. We mm. are not charging them. Mm. Even some counseling. Yes. Eh? There is a professor that they are, you must pay to the year, whatever. Mm. <laughs> but some pastor you are not supposed to pay. Is uh, 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 what uh, because uh, because pastor is need to talk with you and to heal you. Mm. Me, I'm called by God because of many. I'm called by God. It's not only because of my uh, ministry, my church. No, even for the others, I'm here. I'm not telling you to come out from your church. You see, mm -hmm. because you see those some of them. Mm. There are some uh, religions, I don't want to mention them. Mm. Mm. Some of those people, they are fellowship there. Mm. But at night, Lina, they run away from that church. Example, let, um, let, let, uh, like, like our church of, of a man of Christian ministry, I have a members. But one of them, two or three, they go to cats at night. Mm. But me, I don't know. Mm. Our members, they are not know. No. Eh? And we don't know that the one of our members, uh, he is going some difficult time because of what she is falling. And we have many people like that mm -hmm. in our society. Mm -hmm. We are fellowshipping with him at, at, uh, 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 now, mm -hmm. but tonight he will be not together with us. Mm -hmm. He will to Marquesi. 
mm. uh, church. <laughs> uh, 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 yes. okay. And that is the problem we have. So uh, uh, we are speaking even for the, 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 those we have. Mm -hmm. uh, they must have belief in God. True. If you believe in our church, there is God. Just stay there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Uh, one thing that I've picked, and uh, also we are being taught in our church continuously mm -hmm. about listening to one voice. Mm -hmm. That if you listen to that one voice, the mm -hmm. voice of God, mm -hmm. surely you're not going to be led mm -hmm. astray. Mm -hmm. And that uh, with that, you're going to be anchored. Your faith, you said like the Bible say, Faith come by hearing mm. and hearing the, the word, word of, of God. God. That word of God is the one voice that we are supposed to listen mm. to. Mm. So with that, maybe briefly, we can give a parting shot on the mm. same. I understand it's a sensitive matter and a very wide matter mm -hmm. that we cannot exhaust it at this particular yeah. time. Mm -hmm. But because of time, maybe we can give us your parting shot mm -hmm. and we'll continue this another time. Okay. Starting with you briefly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, me, I'm very happy because of that time fast you give us. We share with our viewers. I, 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 I'm very thankful. Thank you because of this uh, GBS TV. I thank God because of that platform that God gave GBS that we may share the good news with our viewers. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy and I thank God for that. And uh, we are praying for those people and we need them. If they come to us, uh, we will listen to them and also we will help them. It is, we are crying because Jesus is coming soon. And because he is coming soon, we are here to prepare them, mm. to deliver them from that old, to heal them. Then we continue with the life. That is our prayer mm -hmm. and that is our, uh, our agenda mm -hmm. and our business that God has given us. Thank you so much. Yeah. Pastor mm. David, this wow. thank you, Eunice. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just want to urge the church uh, to be vigilant and alert in the spirit. And I just want to give a, a short summary of what is happening in Kenya right now. Uh, Kenya, in the redemption plan of God, is supposed to usher in the last revival, the end time revival. And uh, one of the purposes or the ways that is going to bring the revival is through intercession, through prayers and fasting. That is how we are going to usher in the last revival. And the devil is aware of that. And what is happening in Kenya now, the enemy is trying to cover up through somebody who is using demonic powers and uh, marine spirits to, to, to influence people to do fastings that are leading to death. So the enemy is using that to fight people not to pray, mm. to fight people not to intercede. Because you will know what is happening in Kenya right now, especially for the last four years. God has lifted up men and women that are prayerful intercessors. And they have come up with uh, prayer centers. Almost now in every county we are having an, a, a prayer center, even here in Nairobi. So the enemy wants to fight that redemptive plan of God. But I want to urge you, be vigilant. Be awake in the spirit. No matter what they are going to say, don't lose your faith mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Be vigilant. Be awake in mm. the spirit. Because this is the time that uh, the last time, the, 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 the last days that it is written. And the, these are the things that we see in the Bible about the last days. And uh, we should read more. Learn more from the book of God, the Bible. I'm sure we cannot exhaust and answer all our question, all your questions at this particular time, but uh, we'll plan again. We'll invite you to discuss this more in more depth because I feel that we cannot exhaust it in as much as it is sensitive. We cannot exhaust it for sure because a lot of people are suffering. And I hope with this information, they are, we are going to get help feedback from them, and we are going to rescue them with the word of God. So viewers, I hope you've learned as much as I have. I hope you've taken notes. Question, let's continue this conversation offline across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 2 double four. Till next time, have a nice time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.